Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Langill, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to do outline text in Photoshop. You see, my main job here is I work at a church and I do a lot of graphic design for them and all sorts of stuff there, but one of the things I do a lot is graphic design. And this week I was designing something and I used this technique and I remember that it is something that's not very easy to do in Photoshop or at least not very obvious. You see, Photoshop is not like Illustrator or even DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro that just is very easy to change the outline of text. There's a little thing that you can just click on and it changes the text, how thick it is or what color it is and you can do the fill and the, the, the outline in a very simple way. In Photoshop, it is not quite as easy so in this video, very simple, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that, how you guys can use that to elevate your graphic design or your titles or your thumbnails, anything that you're doing with text, it is very important to know how to use your text and make it pop out and look different. So let's go ahead and jump right into the computer and let me show you how to do that. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add some text. So T for text, I'm gonna type outline text. All right, so I like how that looks. So you'll notice that when you are in text here, you don't have any options as far as outline goes, here or here. Whereas if you were creating a shape, you do have options. You have the stroke and then you have the fill. So this is what's different about text. It treats it a little bit differently. So what we wanna do here, the first thing we're gonna do is go over to your layer over here and you can do two things. You can either right click and say blending options or you can just double click anywhere, not the text here, because that'll rename it, but anywhere over in this gray area. When you double click it, it'll just pop that up, that layer style, just like it did for the blending options. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to the stroke. This is what we're gonna be using. Now you can't see anything happening right now because the white color of the stroke is all the sole the same color as the fill. So I'm gonna change this color to something like a red so that you can see what's going on. The next thing we're gonna do here is now that we're on our text, there's two things, your opacity, which controls the opacity of the full layer to nothing and then back up. And then there's also the fill. This is what we're gonna be using. The fill is anything that's inside that border. So let's go ahead and take that fill all the way down to zero. Then we're gonna double click stroke to come back into the stroke settings. And we're gonna change that color back to white. And now you have a couple settings here inside of stroke. So the size is the size of the outline. So I'm gonna put around four I like. And then you have the position. Now position here outside, you'll notice that it gets you a little bit more of a bulkier edges. I don't know if you can tell there on the edges, it's got a little bit more of a bulkier text. Then you've got the center, which basically does a little bit on the outside, and a little bit on the inside. And then my personal favorite one is the inside because it keeps the sharpness from the outside and then it keeps the rest of the stroke on the inside. Do keep in mind that if you go too high, it can get overwhelming and then fill up the inside to the point that it just becomes nothing. A couple other things that you can do is change the opacity of that effect or the type of blend mode, which we're gonna leave at normal for now. Now, one thing I'm gonna do here to make it pop out a little bit more is I'm gonna make half of it outline and the other half is gonna be regular text. So what I'm gonna do here for that is I'm gonna click Control J, which is gonna duplicate my layer. Now I've got two of these same layers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it back up. Then I'm gonna go back into the stroke and I'm gonna remove the stroke and the effect. So what we can do is go into this and then say right click and then say clear layer styles. Now it's just a text layer filling in the inside. Now what I'm gonna do is go down to the layer mask, apply one of those and then hit B for brush. Now you can see here I have black and white. X switches between them. So I'm gonna keep black because I'm trying to paint inside this right here with black. Make sure you're not selecting the T, make sure you're selecting your layer mask. And then I'm gonna start painting out what I don't want. So I don't want any of this. And you can see now I've got that two-tone, the outline and the text. Another thing we could do here is we could go on the bottom and then we can just move it to the bottom and to the right. And now you've got kind of this overlay two text outline in the bottom and then the cool effect of the inside on the top. And as you can see, if I go back onto the layer mask, there's a lot of things that you can do to make it kind of a neat effect. I could take out the bottom or even the top and then have this kind of stripe going through. Sometimes what I like to do is create an object with my pen tool. So let's go ahead and create an object. And once you have that there, what I like to do is go over here. I say right click and then I say rasterize layer. Then I right click this little square here and say select pixels, which will basically select that black square. And then what you can do is just hide that and then come back into this square. And then you hit B again. Let's make that brush a little bit bigger. And then what you're doing is just painting within those lines like that. Once you do that, you click Control D, and now you've got this really cool wave text 
throughout. And then what you can do is actually unlink it right here by just clicking that little link button. And then by just moving up and down with your arrows, you can actually control where that layer is happening. All you're doing really is you're moving that layer up or down. And if you're wondering how I did that, I just held Alt and then click my layer mask, just like that. And then you can edit that layer mask and then you can get back out of it. So I like sometimes moving it and then controlling it. You could even resize that layer mask. You can do all sorts of stuff once you're in there. Let's go ahead and reset that. And the cool thing about this method here is that it is non-destructive. So if I wanna go in there and change my text, I could just wanna take it to just saying text. I can delete that and then it'll still say text. If I wanna say text in Photoshop, I can do that. And the awesome thing is that it keeps the effect on all the letters. I hope this tip was helpful to you guys. If it was, go ahead and like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't already. I like posting mostly filmmaking stuff. Sometimes I'll do some photography or graphic design stuff or editing stuff, but hope you guys join along. It'd be awesome to have you subscribe and I will see you guys, all of you guys, next week. Bye.